How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Abraham here with another video and this time a more personal video and the reason I say personal is because as you can probably tell just by looking at this you probably can tell what happened to me. Um, I pretty much got my uh, PlayStation Network account compromised. Pretty much someone took my account. They didn't really take it but um, someone made their console, their PS4, the primary console for my account. What that means is since his console is the primary uh, console for my account, I will not be able to uh, play like games that are digital, at least digital games when there's when I'm offline. So if I'm offline, I will not be able to play all my digital purchases and stuff like that. I can only play disc games. The only reason, the only way I can play my digital collection is if I'm connected to the internet. Which, it's not really a big deal, but it's just a hassle, you know, knowing that someone else has your account. Now, I already changed my password and did everything I can, I could. So, I, pretty, I think I pretty much locked that person out. They won't be able to play my games or anything, so. And while I was, while I changed my, first thing I did when I found out, went on and changed my password went went to go change my password i already did that and while i was changing my password i realized right here if you go under network it's going to be two-step verification that's this is on the playstation.com the official playstation website as you can see what did and i don't know why sony didn't at least let their users know that this was available to them i think they just barely added this if i'm not mistaken but it's just a complete like miss like fuck up from Sony to not let their users know. Oh, by the way, we have a new ver two step verification thing. Would you like to set it up or you know something like a notification or something to let you know you can set up a two step verification thing. But again, that could be that can go that could be a double edged sword because. Say your 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 account was already compromised without you even knowing, and then the other person does this first, then you're completely fucked. So I can understand why I did that, but it's just this. I didn't even know this existed until today. So for those of you who don't know what this is, is essentially another step to sign in into your account. So say someone does take your password or fi figure out your password, you password gets compromised pretty much they won't be able to sign into your account because there's two steps the next step is gonna send you a text to whatever phone cell phone you have or I think there's another option where it sends you a code I don't know if it's via email or something I don't know but it sends you another an extra code but I put it with my phone obviously through text and what it does is once I put it it'll, it'll ask for the code that it texts you and every time you sign into a, to one of your accounts that's linked with uh, PlayStation Network it'll changes that code changes so your password will still be the same but every time then it goes to the next step for the code that it sends you it's a completely different code every time so the only way to get that code is obviously if you have that phone number and you have the phone and you're receiving the text so if you do this and someone does end up getting your password you should be safe because I don't know if there's a way to get your the, the those codes. I don't know. I'm not a really I'm not a hacker, computer savvy, but I'm pretty sure this is probably the safest thing ever in my opinion. But obviously, there's ways people can find ways. But this right here will keep you secure if you're a PlayStation Network user. So if you're watching this right now, I would highly recommend you do this right away and if you didn't do if you don't have this set up yet just do this right after you watch this video or heck do it right now because the the less the less time you waste the better you know what i mean so if, if you don't have this set up i would like again i'm stressing this because i'm going through this stuff i mean again there's no i, I, I already took all precautions i've changed the password i pretty much locked that person out already but i'm just trying to help you get everybody else out that so they won't have to deal with this because the only way I can get my uh, PS4 to become the primary account again or the primary console for my account is to deactivate his PS4 via the website and that's the way he did it to me in the first place. He 
you got my password signed in on my account on the website um, I believe it was a one of the Sony website I think it was Sony and through the website believe it or not you can deactivate your accounts which I don't, honestly it's pretty dumb it should have made it where maybe you, you have to go through call customer service or something to do that that way there's more verification you know what I mean I don't know but anyways yeah and he pretty much deactivated my console from my account through the website and I can't do anything about it for six months so right now as of this video it is August 29th so I this guy's gonna have my account on his console for six months I can't do anything for six months that's like a big fucking slap in the face from Sony they can't they really can't do anything I mean, six months is fucking insane, but I mean, it could have been three months. I mean, I don't mind. I can understand why they do that, but six months, half a fucking year, really? So I won't be able to deactivate the other guy's console until probably January or February, which sucks knowing someone else, <laughs> my account is on someone else's console, but like I said, I already did all this, so they it'll pretty much be like a dead dead account to them they won't be able to do anything with them with it so I already took all precautions so it'll pretty much be a dead account to them so hopefully they'll delete it but if they delete it it'll still be uh, the primary account for their console unless since they know it's dead they'll deactivate it but who knows they probably won't because again they won't be able to sign into the settings because I completely changed all the passwords and then and, and did this two step thing so they're pretty much fucked for this next six months and whatever I have to wait six months until I can deactivate their console via the website so again thank you all so much for watching this video hopefully you found it very informative and helpful and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I cannot stress this enough. Please share the video. Spread the word that th this two-step verification is out there. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people already know about it. But I think majority of the users don't even know about this feature yet. So please share this video. Spread the word. If you have friends, family that own PlayStation consoles... And you haven't done yours either. After you finish doing yours, I will recommend you either like send them a quick text or let them know right away. You know, the fast, like the sooner the better, really. And let them know right away and to set this up. That way they'll be protected. So again, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.